Okay, today we're going to take a look at uh, the table saw fence relative to the blade. Which side do we want it on and how do we want to uh, maneuver it? Uh, I will tell you th this is a fairly typical table saw layout and by typical I mean that the table surface to the left of the I'm talking about now table saws that are in a shop not contractor table saws that go on the job site. Table saws that are in a shop typically the amount of uh, the width of the table to the left of the blade is less than the width of the table to the right of the blade. Uh, that's not always true, but in general that's true. And so that means that on this wide width here that we have to the right of the blade, I can move this fence out a long way. As a matter of fact, the fence right now is out 36 inches from the blade. And so I could take a large sheet of something and standing over here, I could pass it through in a rip configuration with that to the right, 36 inches. So I could make a 36 inch wide cut. I could also do the same cut if I took this heavy, I might add, fence and put it over here. And you notice on this fence, I mean, on this table saw, which is a fairly high-end uh, table saw, it even has a marker set of uh, ruler set over here in case you have the, uh, the fence on the left-hand side or the shorter side of the blade. And as you can see, I can get it about, I'd say, uh, a foot, maybe a little more than a foot, before I run out of real estate on that side of the saw blade. And so if I had that same large piece of wood, okay, uh, and I were making a, a 12 or 13 inch cut, then if I had it on the left hand side, I would be just fine. Uh, I could get that width of cut. I could not get a 36 inch cut over here like I could over there. But let's look at, uh, is, there, is there any reason to do it this way? And I would argue that if you're, if you're cutting a big piece of plywood, your biggest problem is supporting that plywood as you pass it through this saw. Well, if you're cutting a narrow piece, then you can see that the wider part of the four foot wide sheet would be laying on this wider side of the saw if you had the fence on the left hand side of the blade. And so there's an advantage to having that on the left hand side of the blade, and that is it would be much easier to stabilize and control this big uh, four by eight or whatever size this piece of plywood is as you move it across the blade. So if I was doing a narrow cut on a wide piece of wood, I would put the fence on the left hand side of the saw blade to give myself this stability, better stability. On the other hand, if I'm making a wider cut, the geometry is reversed and I have the, the larger fraction of the original piece of wood over here on the right hand side because I'm doing a wider cut and it fits over here. And so I actually get more stability in that case with the fence on the right hand side of the blade. So, in normal times, if you go into most people's shop and they're doing cuts of smaller pieces of wood, uh, at least for right-handers like me, it seems more natural for me to have this uh, fence over on the right-hand side. Uh, and then I'm pushing through using my right hand to do the main pushing of things through the blade in a rip configuration. If on the other hand I'm left-handed and my dominant hand is my left hand, I might normally have this on the left-hand side so that it is my dominant left hand that's pushing through uh, the blade, pushing through the, the cut. So for those of you who are right-handed, I put it on the right-hand side and see if that feels comfortable. For those of you who are left-handed, I try it on the left-hand side and see if that's comfortable. As far as safety and stability of the workpiece, you want the wider part of the table 
to support the wider piece of the workpiece. So if it's a narrow cut, you put the fence on the left-hand side and support the narrow over here and the wide over here. And if you're making a wide cut, you do exactly the opposite and put this on the right-hand side. So we hope that answers your question about where to place this and why. And uh, be sure and like the video. Uh, if, if you liked it, be sure and hit the like button and also subscribe so that we can keep you informed of future content.